Okay guys, we are back again with some more Broken Crescent mod for Medieval 2. It says right there at the top of the screen, Medieval 2 Total War. So many great mods out for Medieval 2, I could probably make certainly a whole channel dedicated to them. Possibly two channels. Um, right. What we're going to do very quickly is, I've had a request to do this, and it's a request to toggle on or off the uh, fog of war um, so I'm going to do that it's not something I normally do very occasionally I do it if there's a uh, bug that's causing crashing and sometimes this actually helps so there we can see the uh, current state of the map um, so leave your feedback if you uh, are greatly opposed to me doing this very occasionally in this campaign or any of the campaigns that I do. Um, we can see that the Latins have in fact covered North Africa and have squeezed the Unids, um, well the Iubids, which is quite unusual because the Iubids start out as one of the largest, uh, quite possibly the largest faction in territory and they're certainly not a pushover but the uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem has expanded a lot. Uh, the Unids have expanded out of what was that? Modern day Bahrain? Yes, Bahrain, isn't it? Um, they've taken quite a bit of territory. Um, we can see that there's Tibet owned by rebels, and I cannot get into Tibet unless I beat and use the console. Um, I don't even know what's out there. That's probably reserved for the Mongols, warning. Now, I can. Oh, there it is. There's the other Ghaznavid territory, all the way over there. Um, in fact, we're entered right over it aren't we where is it then there it is Burjand and the Gurids have in fact gone after it how on earth did the Ghaznavids get all the way over there capture territory it was probably because they weren't at war with anyone for most of the 62 turns that we've already played um the kingdom of Georgia is doing quite well so is Armenia although Armenia got pushed out of its starting area down here well, they've been kind of pushed north and east the roman empire is getting consumed by the uh Seljuks of rome and uh, there's no clear winner up in the northwest right that's the last campaign i did as the oman the imamate or the imamate of oman bit of a mouthful there's the yemen and thankfully these talks are actually going on in Yemen uh, to end the civil war, the current civil war that's going on there. So good luck to the people of Yemen. I probably don't have any Yemeni viewers. Um, fairly small country and fairly small population and probably most of their infrastructure has been destroyed in the civil war been going on. But uh, good luck to the people of Yemen. Civil wars are never fun. Um, the Abbasids, which are probably the second largest faction at the start, have almost been wiped out. Um, so, yeah. Actually, get rid of that. And we can now toggle this off. And go back to the way it was. Now, something else I've been asked to do, and which we'll do in a minute, is... So the faction rankings, not something I normally do, but let's get back into the action. So we now know where the um, other Ghaznavid territory is, and it's probably going to get wiped out by the Gurids. And the Mongols still have not shown up. And we've got the Ghaznavid capital under siege by Chu Sai. And pretty good general, and he's very young. Hopefully he's married and had some kids. So we're probably going to go to war with someone else around here, unless the Mongols show up. Yes. Right. Um, I've got a general there. Was I going to put him in Kotan? Yes. Um, I'm going to put in some watchtowers. But as soon as the Mongols show up, we'll probably get the event message saying that they've popped in. Ah, yes. Uh, we're going to have a quick battle against some rebels, because these are coming back to Balsagun. To get retrained. What are we up? 
against oh, all infantry. It's going to be a quick battle. Yeah, um, even in my personal campaigns, um, since I started playing with Shogun 1, it's very rare that I ever do a map reveal like that, and incredibly rare that I've done it on my channel. But I did have a request to do it, and we've done it. So now you can leave some feedback about whether you like it or not. Some people will say that it's cheating and it can be used cheap. But um, this stage we've got the Gaznavids down to one. Well, they're down to two settlements, both of which are besieged. And finding out where they are isn't really going to affect anything, is it? Or it shouldn't. So we've only got a few units of melee cav. Why we're going to try to keep those ones back? I mean, we've got a general. I don't really want to lose him. Most of these are going to be firing. You're firing. You're firing. Back right, on. Attempt to just pull those ones back. Yeah, get them out of danger. I'm not going to be in too much danger. Khorasani Light Spearman. Uh, there was a um, Khorasan Empire, I think. Or Kingdom. Another one of those that uh, fell to the Mongols. And so many did. Afghani Hillman. Hmm. If there is anyone watching from um, where the Khorasan Empire or the Afghan Kingdoms used to be, uh, leave a comment. That would be interesting to know uh, because there's lots of ancient cities out there in their former territory. Lots of historical buildings, um, battle sites. I don't know how well the battle sites are preserved. Um, many Western cultures or countries, um, certainly throughout Europe, many of the battlefields are quite well preserved. And you can go and tour them quite easily. Have we lost anyone? No, they've lost a third of their army. Uh, unfortunately, the place I live does not particularly care about its history, even if it's recent history, and doesn't really check its battlefields very well. It doesn't even mark them particularly well either, which is a shame. But if I ever get the money to go back to somewhere like Europe or North America, I will definitely go and visit some uh, battle sites. I did visit some of the Napoleonic sites um, back when I was a teenager. The enemy are back. I did get to see Waterloo. They have lost half their men. And some of the uh, World War II battle sites in uh, Holland and Belgium. And I visited quite a few of the battle sites in the UK. Uh, none in Scotland, none in Wales. Never actually been to Scotland or Wales or Ireland. The North or the Republic. But I'm sure they preserve their battle sites just as well. Probably a bit boring seeing me beat up these uh, poor infantry. We're going to speed that up. I doubt we'll lose any men unless it's from friendly fire. Or by accidentally getting caught in melee. Might even run out of some arrows on some of those units. I'm liking the music. I think I turned it up a little bit. 
Or if not, I'm going to. I'll check after this uh, quick battle. Yeah, we're going to get some Enemy, friendly fire. Run down those get away, get away. Shoot them up. Yeah, they ran out of ammunition. Alright, can't be too many of them left. Uh, yep, he's the last man standing, and that was their general. Funnily enough, that actually happens quite a bit in Medieval 2. Ah, we lost a man. Wasn't a perfect victory. So now we can get back there and retrain this cavalry, which we can't retrain in India. Plus three loyalty, that's always good. Alright, quick look then at the uh, faction rankings. That's me, my own faction. So, that's the number of turns. Um, this is the number of points. I don't know how they work out the points, but it's probably around 22,000. Military, under 14. Production, leveling off. Territorial, we have been expanding. Financial, that's shot up quite recently, hasn't it? Population is going up nicely. All right, who do we put in against this? Um, one of our neighbors, yeah. Uh, that's who we're allied to, but we need to wipe them out as well. You know what we could do? Once we've taken out uh, this Gaznavid settlement, I think we should go and backstab the Quaresmians. But then again, we could be in a two-front war, with the uh, Mongols showing up in the east, and us fighting in the west. But we've got to kill them off at some point. I'll check to see if they're at war with anyone. So overall, they're quite a bit ahead of me. Military, quite a bit ahead. Um, production, about equal. Territory, equal. Ish. We're ahead on finance, but they're shooting up as well. Population, almost identical. Interesting. Alright. Quaresmians, Warhamshah. Allied to me at all of the Gaznavids. Yeah, Gaznavids are all of everybody. Well, three of their most powerful neighbours. They're actually not a war with Sindh, or the Chauhans, or the Paramara. And it looks like the Paramara were actually expanding at the expense of the Chauhans. So, you head over there. Yeah, we're going to be able to upgrade this in the next turn, looks like. Have we missed any settlement? Because we've got 107,000. Quite the building's been quite expensive in this. Yeah, not that many to cycle through. Yeah, just map info. Okay. Oh. That was an Imam, I think. A great Imam. I just assassinated. Hmm. Parmshire are not a war of anyone. That's a bit of a problem. I mean, I could beat them. I'm fairly confident of that. Uh, somebody just got a road upgrade. That's good for us. Our neighbours are upgrading their road network. Al Jazari. Ibn Ismail Ibn al Razaz al Jazari. Better known as Al. Alright, go and read that. Alright, I'm going to send my spy out. Ooh, that's Warismians. Did they take that from the Gurus, maybe? I'm going to move you out. Maybe I can assassinate someone. Am I 
taking down a or assassinate or destroy something. Keep him practicing. Someone to see. Orders. March. Get those ones lined up. And this little chap. Yes. Move out. Yes, Lord. Building a watchtower. March. A good Being that's to bet right there. Aha. Foreign merchant. We got him. We got him. And we got another one, didn't we? Alright, 587, 587. That's good. 140, 500. 126. Yeah, you got knocked off of your position last time. Have you come down here? I'm done yeah. for today. We're gonna to have to get some perhaps treaties over there, I think. Ready to trade. One two eight five three two. The problem. What is the name? Am I taking down a person or a place? Hmm, failed. Or what? Am I to dispose of, Lord? Ready to trade. Give me a name. What are you making? Eleven eighty seven. Bit of a risk. What have we and you against him? Ready to trade. Oh. Looking to take someone's trade, my lord. Alright, looking like five eighty seven is about the best we're going to get. Alright, size and retraining. We don't really need any of those. What agents? Well, we can get more assassins. Now, I've got a diplomat somewhere around here, don't I? Ah, I've got me a princess, Mei Ling, up in Bukhara. Cool. Uh, do we have any generals? Ah, uh, the one in Pindi. We can marry him. Yeah. Who has displaced you? All right. Kill him, or we can. Send you against this one. You don't have a good chance, do you? Or a place. Who or war? Am I oh yeah, you're person terrible against Lord. all of those. Am I taking down a person or a place? Who or war? Am I to dispose of Lord? Who has the problem? What is the name? Yes, my lord. Right, now he's the good one. Noble Lord. Yep, you. Um see where the Paramaras are. Well there's some. Is there something I can Oh, we didn't even have trade with them? No, we will not accept. Ah that's unusual. And a bit odd. Very untrustworthy. They are at War of the Chowans. Alright, well, I think they're wiping out the Chowns. I'm going to try and get me an alliance then with the Sind. So the other diplomat is the one that I have there. 
Hmm. Right, ready to upgrade. Quite expensive. Cash car. So we've got some extra troops there. Can they get retrained in there? No, they cannot. And young lady was over in Kara. Your Majesty. Can she marry that one in Pindi? No. 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 No, no, you, you can't marry anyone? No. Still no. Wow. What's going on? Why can't you marry anyone? Ah, you can marry Kuchlug. Oh, it was Kuchlug. 17. I mean, a long way for her to go. Maybe she'll get an offer before she can reach him. Hello, your but we'll send her over there. Or a simple yeah, it's going to take one, Go two, three more turns, plus we can move him, shorten it. Are we going to get this battle? If we get attacked by those, yes. yes. If we don't get attacked by them, it's going to take eight turns. Oh, there was somebody else moving. Now, we've already hit 850 subs for the channel, and that is bloody awesome, chaps. Thanks a lot for that. Um, must be doing something right, because the channel's been growing since day one. Growing faster now. Which I like to see. I think you're coming up for retraining as well, aren't you? Yep. I can't really build any... Towers around here because you can't get over there. The nearest place would be up there. Probably won't yes. help too much. Alright, there's yes. the princess. I shall approach this delicately. My lord, is he wealthy? Is he wealthy? Ah, you women. Is that all you care about? I'm gonna go and take out all of those. They've got a lot of troops that move. Cataphract archers. Ooh. Right. You people don't want raid. Uh, fine. The problem. What is the name? An order? Yes, we are prepared to receive your message, Sadi. Just rejected. And he's quite good. I'm going to have to perhaps offer them something. Right, so you failed there. He's actually moved away for some odd reason. Ah, they've some allies. And we've got another city ready. Alright, we're going to do this one ahead of that. You have to get up to 40,000. I think that's just going to give us Uyghurs. Nope, we've got all of those already. Alright. That would give us those cavalry, wouldn't it? Kitan heavy spears, which we don't have, I don't think. Mounted nobles, heavy horse archers, and the crossbow unit, I think. 
Yeah. It'll take eight turns. We raise that. Wouldn't have any growth. They've now gone over eight thousand. Fifty-three in corruption. Right, you're one of the few that actually has a penalty at the moment. Uh, so we take him out. We're actually going to make more money. Right, what's wrong with this chap? Poor hmm. loyalty. Pagan magician. Historian priest and a pagan magician. Poor with taxes. Do you have any penalties fighting anyone? Gets merry. Dislikes the Quaresmians. Okay, you can go and lead an army against them. Is this my territory? It is. Send him north, build some watchtowers, and he can pick up some troops. We rest here. Orders. March. We march. Yes. My lord. Right. Keep fixing those ones up. Now, did I miss an assassin? The problem. What is the yeah. name? Who has the problem? Who has this list? Right, who's that? Abbasids. Am I taking down a person or a place? Who or what am I to dispose of, Lord? Hmm. Am Only thirty three percent or a place. Who or what am I to dispose of, Lord? Only two percent. You're not that good. Am I taking down a person or a place? Right. Our diplomat. Yes, my lord. Yes. There is something you wish to speak of. The answer, I'm afraid, is and farewell. They don't want to give out any map info now, yes. do they? Right. Today's journey ends. Where to, sire? At least we can get most of our good units out of here. And uh that general be able to pick up a good army. We're gonna need several armies though. Anyone coming along? Fourteen uh, she's going to get married. He's age 10. He's not far away. Ah, he's going to come of age. So will he fairly soon. That's uh, Mei Ling. Yeah, he's going to get married. Oh, is he a spy? I think he is. Alright, uh, I guess we'll end it right here. So we didn't... Well, we did get a battle. Oh. Seriously? I was about to end that. Um, right, that's a Gurid. So we shouldn't take too many casualties. And we didn't take any. Yeah, I was about to end it right there. Because we're at the end. That's where you should end it. Ah, he's going to marry Mei Ling. Good. Right, because he's pretty good. Um, nervous near Gurus. Right, where are Quarries means? Not good. See where he shows up. Probably in Bukhara. Alright, I think this is a warning message about the um, Mongols. 
merchants from afar tell of a large gathering of tribes, known as the Mongols, have unified under the leadership of a warlord named Temujin. At a Kurultai, a council of Mongol chiefs, Temujin has apparently been acknowledged as Khan of the steppe peoples and given the title Genghis Khan. Alright, fair warning, mate. Okay, and then you'd probably better come down there. Move out. A good day's march ends. Yes, Lord. Building anyone else to retrain? No. Orders. Yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll end it there.